Hello guys, this is uh, I have a BMW. I'm fixing this BMW. I have issue. The issue I want to show you. Maybe some mechanics figured out. Maybe some not. So I'll show you what I'm fixing. So this car have no power. So and uh, this car had a lot of work I did. The you can see the guide is brand new these both vanes are brand new the bottom guide is brand new so that actually happened to this car the guide broken the upper guide broken in three pieces one broken from here one broken from here and this guide the BMW have uh, made this trouble for themselves and for people you can see it's uh, broken it's very thin so what happened I found these luckily I found these all three pieces upper part in the engine nothing gone on the bottom on the oil sump pump near not in the oil pan but safely I removed them so you can see the new venice so uh, you can buy this uh, kit aftermarket phoebe you don't need to buy brand new bmw the bmw is selling for 900 to 1100 dollar and this part is broken you can see and it's very thin that's the main problem getting bmw n20 engine four cylinder engines this is the main issue they made the the timing guide so thin and it's plastic you can see it's very very thin so this is the main problem what happened when they broken the engine spin luckily no valve broken or no valve bent but these banners they turned the extra turn because they are spring loaded there is a spring inside so I have to replace them that issue was fixed now the problem came here about there's no power in this car I checked timing three four times it's perfectly going good so what I figured out and I already fixed one x5 2013 uh, BMW N55 engine uh, six cylinder turbo so what I figured out you can see on the intake camshaft the looms there you can see what actually happening the looks you guys can see it's a scuffing looks like and uh, like it's not uh, properly touching the intermediate rollers I'll show you the rollers so what I'm replacing I'm replacing a centric shaft intermediate rollers and upper springs so I'm not uh, changing the intake shaft because uh, the problem is there I'll show you so these are the new intermediate drag rollers these are needle bearings for a centric shaft so this is the centric shaft these are the old you can see So they are not touching each other properly. You can see here, it's not, it's not uh, touching properly to the intake shaft, camshaft. Also, I'm gonna replace the motor because these motor they go a lot. So when I'm doing this, these motor get weak. Number one point. 
they're not touching properly these motor get weak uh, if they're bad they get individually code for the Valtronic motor but I'm gonna change it right now I'm doing this much labor I'm I don't take chance so I'm gonna change it and these springs I'm changing these are the new springs from BMW I'm changing and what I seen in the old intermediate uh, drag rollers and newer ones what are you guys seeing difference uh, you can see difference here the difference is here okay let me put upper side so what BMW did retainer so they broke all of them I went back to BMW like I got these what's wrong with it so like uh, originally I take it out there the other engines have the same and this one have broken then I figured out all of them they all of them same so the guy told me he went inside back office and uh, check it out he grabbed picture it was written there it can be installed intermediate lever uh, drag rollers without retainer so it means he told me so BMW broke these all of them the retainers so spring still they can be installed but what they figured out why these things not touching properly camshaft these this retainer they are thinking it's touching let me show you what what they are thinking these retainers touching here like when centric shaft totally moved and this retainer touch this part upper part here but it's not touching here because I I figured out this one have uh, no any wear and tear there nothing wear out it's like uh, like completely good from here it didn't have any thing to show like it's touching there and I inspected those ones too before also I inspect them so there's nothing wrong with them only what these once you're changing you have to change the springs you have to change the intermediate rollers you have to change a centric shaft but you can inspect it because it's the expensive part you can inspect it if it's uh, this these are teeth so if they are wear tear they wear out you have to change if this condition okay then you can use it I'm using but uh, actually I'm not using because before I did the job on that that one the X5 I changed the intake shaft I changed the eccentric shaft intermediate drag levers the Waltronic motor centric shaft motor everything I changed on that that was running fine the guy gave me good thumbs up he said that there's no problem anymore they, that one was producing code for uh, power reduced this one was giving code for um, camshaft jammed Venice blah blah there was a couple of quotes I don't even remember properly now but so um, actually 
I read those codes according to the codes I did computer update and I read online it requires ECU update but nothing happened so what I figured out I figured out it's a it has the same problem as the other X5 had it so I'm changing because another issue if it's that the oil is not coming here properly so it can be cause the problem too if the oil is not coming properly that that can be the issue too so uh, also I talked to the BMW sales uh, parts guy he said they're doing every week four or five cars and they're changing these parts same all these parts they are changing too and that's why they kept everything in stock you can buy anytime I will uh, make a, another video to make it complete and running in good condition thank you um, you don't need to open timing for this but you have to buy this too I bought this from Tech Pro this is a $350 tool and it's worth to do this job so I'm gonna put all new pieces there now back in and uh, once they complete I'll make a video